Hello, everybody. My name is Juan Manuel de Gea. I am a PhD student. I am presenting a poster in this event. And with this video, I will explain what this work is about. This is a bibliographic review of scientific literature regarding structural and shape optimization in aerodynamic airfoil performance. As an introduction, we can explain that an airfoil is a geometric shape that, when subjected to the flow of a fluid over its surface, produces a pressure distribution that generates lift and drag forces. The design goal is to minimize drag while achieving adequate lift without massive flow separation from the surface. The focus of the study can be classified into two groups. The direct problem, where given a specific geometric shape, the dynamic of the fluid around it is analyzed. And the inverse problem, where it is intended to find a specific geometry, which must be compatible with the behavior of the fluid around it, satisfying certain boundary conditions. In this figure, you can see an airfoil surrounded by the fluid that is represented by continuous lines, called streamlines. The flow is attached to the surface of the airfoil in a thin zone in contact with the solid, where the inertial and viscose effects have an impact on the behavior of the flow. The following figure show the pressure distribution around the upper and lower curves of the airfoil. This pressure distribution generates a resultant force that has a vertical component, lift, and a horizontal component, drag. In this equation, we can see that the total force on the object is the result of combining the pressure force and friction forces both integrated over the entire surface of the object. The methodology consists in classifying the work into three groups according to the approach that each of them makes about the problem. The first group corresponds to the structural approach where the physical and geometric characteristic are the main focus of the study. The second group is based on the discretization criterion that is used to characterize the behavior of the fluid and its parameterization. And the third and last group is the corresponding approach to shape optimization and different optimization methods used for it. In the results, we generate a diagram that corresponds to a mind map of the general problem of the analysis and design of an airfoil. As you can see, the airfoil is in the center of the diagram. The analysis or direct problem and the design or inverse problem are located on the side. Around it, we can see the three characters mentioned in the methodology, the structural, the discretization criteria, and the shape optimization approach. Every each of them with its corresponding specific approach. Our conclusion is that since approximately 2010, a new trend can be observed within the structural approach to the problem known as morphing wings which consists of the development of a variable and adaptive geometry profiles. Such innovations are made possible by advances in new material technology, digital control tools, modern optimization techniques, and artificial intelligence, which allow the development of profiles that are tailored to the flow characteristic and performance requirements of the airport. Well, this is it. So thanks for your attention.